Thank you so much for being here. I'm so happy you're here. Today's video is a very special video. It's all thanks to my followers on Instagram. I'll link my account right here. Thank you all so much for participating, voting, and yeah, having fun while playing with makeup. So my full face today is brought to you by my followers. Everyone chose either or of a makeup product, everything on my face today, and that's what I'm wearing. So um, I like to call this series um, FM. I'm sorry, Followers Choose My Makeup Friday, so F-C-M-F. So yeah, if you guys want to continue watching and see how I created this look, just keep on watching. Please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's get started. Okay guys, my apologies. It seems that it's a good thing I checked it. You guys were just a little too close to see what was going on. So I'm going to do my other eye on camera for you. Oh, that way you can actually see what I did. So let's go ahead and back with the palette. Because he didn't know what it looks like because it was really cropped. This is what it looks like. It's a Jekyll and Hill IX Morphe. So one eye is done and I'm really proud of it. But doing that other eye is going to be scary. <laughs> so, okay, so my eye, I did transition or I set it all over my lid this color. I'm going to take sh that next into the crease. I'm really proud of my eye, but I'm scared. that The wing is like, gonna, like you know, just because one wing went wild well, doesn't mean the other one is too. And with a big fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend it into my crease and up the rest of the way. Blend it more back. I'm not taking that dark brown mojo. When I think of mojo, I think of mojos, the potatoes. <laughs> That's what I think of. Right into the crease. Blend it out. I'm really, it's really easy to make this look, honestly. It's been really easy, blendable. Okay. I think it's time to cut the crease. Where's that thing I used? Okay, now I'm going in with Power Cut. Do you guys do your eye makeup first or your face makeup first? Let me know. Um, usually when I make a dramatic look like I thought I was, I always do eyes first. But if it turns out not being that way, I'll do face first. With my finger. Okay, and now I'm going to take... The light brown, and then go in with the dark brown. Okay, I just want them to connect together right there. One minute. I'm over here fixing this eye real quick. <laughs> okay, now more brown. I mean, do I need more dark brown? Just a little. Honestly, if the wing comes out good, I'm going to have such a great day. <laughs> Sorry, I'm totally cutting you guys off. I apologize. Okay, time to blend it out. Okay guys, moment of truth. Here we go. Okay. Oh, I'm shaking. Like, internally I'm shaking. I can't really tell because of the tape. Here we go. I'm scared. Cross your fingers, guys. Okay. Yes. Oh my gosh. A sigh of relief. Okay, um. I know this one is a little bit bigger. I should just do that. I'll drag it out just a little bit. Oh. I know, see, it got messed up. 
I mean, honestly, I don't mind it too much. It's not that big, bad. Okay. I'm gonna go check myself out. I'll be right back. <laughs> my wings are pretty good. Pretty good. I'm happy with them. So now I'm gonna go to my face, and then I'll come back to the bottom of my eyes. So I'm gonna take my hangover primer. I should do my brows, but I'll do that at the end. <laughs> Okay, so this is only for um. This is more. This is actually just for hydration. I really not so much pores. Just want to let you guys know that. So I'm gonna be taking my Fit Me Dewy and Smooth from Maybelline, the Fit Me, and the shade 120 Classic Ivory. So how am I gonna apply it? I have some new brushes that I haven't used. I'm debating if I should use them. Like, this one's pretty cool. Um, okay, so my foundation is down my tray. And I have my new Luxie 532 Round Top Blender. So I'm going to try and use this for foundation. And here we go. I hope this is a shade match because I have not used this shade in a while. <laughs> My face. Okay. So it's one coat. And let's do a second coat. I'm just going to blend it all the way down so it can match. a hair annoying little thing okay I'm gonna do the other side and I'll be right back okay so next up is concealer I'm using my age rewind in light pale oh you guys know what I forgot to do <laughs> I forgot to apply my face mask oops I just realized that I had a face mask that you guys picked out for me I forgot to put it on I'm using my Real Technique sponge. Okay. So to set my face, or well, actually specifically my under eyes, I'm going to take my MAC Fix Plus powder. Put that directly underneath my eyes. Okay. That like that I like that it gives me a little bit more coverage. Okay. So for the rest of my face, I'm going to use my translucent powder. Yeah. I fit me. And I'm actually going to take this one here. This real, my new real technique sponge. I'm sorry, my Real Technics brush. I'm not sure which one it is, I apologize. It says 301. So I'm just gonna take some, dust off the excess, and put that all over my face. I feel like the bristles are a little pokey, just a little. Okay, now I'm gonna put this. So for my contour, taking my um, Anastasia Beverly Hose. Okay, I'm gonna take these two shades, 
they don't have a name, so sorry about that. Okay, I'm gonna take this brush from Wet n Wild. I have some on the back of my hand because I don't want it to be too pigmented. I mean, this is my cream contour, so powdering contour is a little bit different for me. So we'll see how it goes. Not the best at contouring my nose, but it's worth a shot. Okay, so I'm just gonna blend it out if it's too harsh with my nail techniques. Okay, so I'm gonna do my other um, other side of my face as well as my under eyes, and I'll be right back. I'm gonna do my mascara really quickly, and then eyebrows. So the mascara you guys chose was the Better Than Sex Mascara, my favorite. I'm going to apply it and I'll be right back. So next I'm applying my bronzer. It's a pretty vulgar in Sunkiss Niche. It was between Hula or this one, but I feel like this one is a lot more bronzy. So I'm going to apply this one. But trust me, a little bit goes a long way. It's very pigmented. I learned that recently. Blush. Using my Milani blush. I think cracked, sadly. Oh no. Taking my new Luxie Deal Fiber Powder. too much there. I'll wipe it off right now. Okay. Don't want to look like a clown now, do we? Okay. okay, so going back with this powder brush, I'm going to just blend it all together. That's my Morphe setting spray. I think I'm just about out. Oh, no, not yet. Okay, I'm gonna let that sink in. Mmm, smells so good. And once that dries, lips, brows, and highlight, and we're good to go. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna let this dry a little bit. So brows. In the shade espresso. Okay. Before, see you after. <laughs> wow. This is a highlight and called a flower crown.
Okay, lipstick is going to be the CoverGirl in the shade Ballerina. I've never tried any CoverGirl products unless it's, I'm thinking mascara, the green one, but that was years ago. So let's see how this goes. The weird smell. I know this. I know what this is. It's like oh, nostalgic almost. Like old, not old. It's not cheap either, but like old, I don't know. I'm not going to say older women makeup, but it just has that smell that smells like not appealing. Oh, I just wish I knew I could explain it better. But let me just spray my face one more time and set everything in place. Okay. And take this off. And here is my full face of makeup that my followers, you guys, chose. So thank you so much for participating, voting. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry about the noise, but um, yes, thank you so much. I love you guys. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new down below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.